Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling, guys. So today, I wanted to just come on here. This is going to be about, because I was doing something on Instagram, and I was thinking about, I talked about the struggles of tall women, and when it comes to, like, buying pants and jeans and dresses sometimes, um, mini skirts, <laughs> mini skirts we can't do, guys, you know that they'll just be way too short on us. And to be quite honest, as much as we have legs, I personally think that we look really, really nice in midi skirts. So I'll probably pop in photos as I'm speaking to you guys. Um, and the name of places. So I wanted to talk to you about some brands that I think we can shop at. Um, they don't necessarily focus on tall women stuff. However, you can get creative when it comes to shopping at these places. And this is not a huge list, but I find myself shopping here a lot. Um, I didn't put every single brand that I have and I'll tell you why. Um, I don't want to put things here that's super expensive um, because I sometimes do not care about the price depending on what the item is. And it's because I really want it and I know I can't find it in my size. So, I have a list here for you ladies. And I hope you guys enjoy because I think it's affordable. Um, I think. I think they're, it's affordable. <laughs> Let me just jump right into it. So first I'll say this. A lot of people shop at Zara, right? Um, Zara does not cater to tall women. Um, however, they do have pants and jeans sometimes that we could actually fit. Um, I'll probably pop in a picture of me having a pair of their jeans and the only, reason, is, the only reason why these jeans fit me is because of this style number. They have a lot of wide leg pants. However, they all are not created equally, guys, okay? I bought another pair in black. Had to cut them into shorts. <laughs> they just didn't fit me. Um, they actually have nice shorts that I think are pretty nice. Um, I actually have on a pair now. Maybe I'll show you guys. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I will. Let me stand up really quick. Let me just stand up. My, the way my camera is, it might seem a little weird. But can you guys see these shorts? So let me slide the chair over. I don't know if you guys can see. So they're not suit, they're short, but they're not like cooch cutters. Um, and I have room around the leg part, right? I wasn't supposed to do that, but you know. So you can definitely find some things in there, but it's not a place that we can always go. I should add another, I'm gonna add one more place here uh, because they carry tall. So, <laughs> sorry guys, and yeah. So I'll say this too, uh, you guys know I do not always shop at brands that cater to tall women. And I've said this before, I, I'm just not really a fan of the quality of the items. So I don't do it. Um, it's kind of bright in here. Let me turn this down So Yeah. <laughs> so I, I sometimes, I just don't do it. Um, I don't like the quality. I don't like the material. It's just a few, a lot of things I just don't like. Most of the time they'll make pants, trousers with no pockets. And I'm just like, come on, give us some pockets, guys. Like they really do us dirty and I'm kind of over it. But being that I'm from New York, Born and raised in New York, so certain things I'm just like kind of accustomed to, just like maneuvering through, you know, the fashion world as far as still being stylish, right? And tall, because it's not easy for us. So I'm gonna jump into brands that I currently buy. And I'll go into, I won't do like hats and stuff, it's okay because they're just hats, right? <laughs> However, you guys know I love lack of color hats. Um, Brixton has decent hats. I'm gonna say decent. Two things I don't like is their shipping method, how they pack their things, um, 
and I think it's three things I don't like and uh, the quality of their straw hats I just don't like um, but their shipping method if they could fix that I think they would be a pretty decent affordable hat brand um, but I am lack of color to the day I die okay so let me jump right into the brands so Levi's guys I know Levi's is an old brand but they carry 34 uh, I, I want to say they go up to a 36 I have some pants that are extremely long um, I know a lot of girls are getting away from like the super super long long jeans and they'll get something a little bit more cropped at the ankle so they can wear their pumps and stuff um, and to me that's perfect because you know you don't necessarily have to be stuck with finding long an extra long inseam because if you want them to just hit by your ankle honestly if you're like six feet a 32 would be just fine for you it'll hit right there um or maybe a 33 get you a little ankle bracelet and you're good so levi's now <laughs> here's the kicker they're 501 jeans hmm i'm not gonna say that because I, I can't fit them and I'm not a, I'm not the thickest girl. I'm far from thick. <laughs> I'm not the thickest girl. But I think what happens with those is because we are tall, when you pull the pants up, where it would typically hit a shorter person, is struggle, which is the struggle for us, right? Um, that's why I always say plus size women, they have it better to me. I always see really, really nice things for them. And a lot of stores cater to them. So they forgot about us poor girls. So Levi's is one good place. They do have shorts. Now their shorts are not like oversized baggy type shorts like the, the, the girls are wearing now. Um, they're more fitted. So if you still like that style, the stretch, yes. They definitely have skinny jeans for us. I don't know what's going on. Like why do they think all tall women just wanna wear skinny jeans? We do like wide leg pants because they look extremely nice on us. So Levi's is one place to get some jeans from. And The Gap. The Gap has cigarette pants that I love, um, but they also have barrel jeans. I'm, I, I think I have a picture of myself with them on. Mm, maybe not. I'll probably pop in a photo. Barrel jeans are nice. They're like, almost like mom jeans, kind of, like that baggy look. So here's the thing. I had to literally size up to a 14, guys. <laughs> Which I could have did a 12 now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but I had my tailor go in and she pretty much hooked me up. Like she cut the waist and she brought them up. Did all that good stuff. This is why I say having a tailor as a tall woman is like your best friend. So they have nice jeans also. Don't sleep on the Gap and do not sleep on Levi. It's just that they have our size guys. Um, and those are for jeans. River Island and ASOS of course. Now, I'm only saying ASOS because I know that they have a tall section, but I usually don't buy stuff from ASOS. River Island, yes. River Island has better, way better quality. Um, they also have really nice sweaters. Their, their knits, like their long cardigans are A1. So I just wanted to throw those two in there. The Frankie Shop. They don't have a tall section, guys, right? So all these places, they don't have a tall section except for ASOS and River Island. But the Frankie shop, I bought a shirt. It was like a crop white button-up shirt. And again, I'm not the biggest girl, but I got a little bit of broad shoulders and my, my breasts are kind of big. So the shirt was cool, but it was so tight around my breast, so I had to take it back. However, they do have one size fit all tops those are perfect for us because they, they're very oversized, they're very cute, and the quality is awesome, guys. The Frankie Shop has amazing, amazing quality. I would buy anything from them any given day. Um, so the Frankie Shop is one. Of course, Banana Republic, I'm sorry, they have a tall section. So, with Banana Republic, um, it's like a hit or miss for me, honestly. But when I do go there, I do find that I can find ankle pants that are the proper length, okay? We, us tall women, <laughs> we love ankle pants too. 
The problem is that if we go to a regular store, ankle pants are not so ankle. Now, I have never tried to buy like a regular size 32 to see if it would fit me like a real ankle because it's not quite down there at the bottom. It's, it's a little bit above it. But Banana Republic definitely has them. They have trousers. I have not seen jeans there and they have like kind of like cargo pants there. So if you're looking for something like that, definitely go for, go there, um, affordable. They have blazers that are also good. Let me see. Yeah, the Frankie Shop has blazers. I have, do I have one? No, not yet. It's, it's still out of stock. <laughs> um, but of course, Banana Republic has nice blazers. Um, and, and Zara, guys. I can wear Zara blazers depending on where it's made. Um, I did the video a couple of weeks ago with the blazer that was tailored that actually fit me, but the other blazer fit me too short at the, the wrist and I got it cropped. So it's just getting creative, guys. So the Frankie Shop definitely has like really nice tops um, for us that are one size fit all that we can actually fit and look stylish, guys. Um, the other place is ALC. Now, I don't know if I have a video, I probably do. And if I can find it, I'll pop it in. I bought a pair of faux leather pants from ALC and they were actually long enough for me and it also had enough room inside for me to take out if I wanted to. And I think I did. Um, they were pretty expensive, but I will say that they ripped the first time I wore them in like the little middle area. <laughs> And again, I'm not a big girl, but I just think that they should have did a little bit better with the stitching, but the pants are actually really, really nice. So ALC, I've purchased blazers from them. Nice blazers. Now, they are, well, I don't wanna say they're pricey, but for some who don't wanna spend $400 on a blazer or even $600 on a blazer, it's not for you, then stick to Zara. Stick to Zara blazers that are, the ones that are $149, those are the best quality guys you know I'm big on quality so yes ALC is another place you can find some good pants there that are pretty long and nice blazers for us now I have a shirt and a pair of pants from this place called Hoffman Copen Copenhagen and I found this brand on Intermix so Intermix is a place that has multiple brands that they sell multiple items, jewelry, shoes, clothes, whatever. And I came across this brand and oh my God, the shirt is a gorgeous, like the sleeves are long. So it's just really, really, really getting creative and really doing your research guys. Um, Cause I'll tell you this, I'm not gonna be stuck only shopping at places that cater to tall women. And the reason why is <laughs> being from New York, I was able to find other things that were fitting for my body that were not just made for tall women, if that makes sense. So, um, another brand is Iro, I-R-O. They have nice things and they don't cater to tall women, but their tops and their jackets, we can definitely get away with. Now, if you have an, an arm length that is probably longer than 24, then you may start to struggle a little bit with some of these brands. Um, but if you don't mind just cropping up your sleeves and stuff, then go ahead, child. So Iro has really nice things. They're not the cheapest and they're not the most expensive, but if you want something a little bit more unique, then I would say go for them. Um, so those are the clothes, the brands and the stores that I like to shop at. Um, that's just a small portion of it, guys. I'm looking around because I have other stuff in here. Um, and then when it comes to shoes, okay. I got some big old feet and I have wide feet. I got my mom's feet. So, I have to be creative. I have Rebecca Minkoff shoes, right? I have Jimmy Choo's. I have Berman shoes. Now, Berman runs small, so I have to literally size up to a 12, like literally. I think they just run narrow. Um, and I have Sam Edelman, which Sam Edelman pumps, they're, they're not expensive. They're like $150, guys, seriously. And I actually think they're really good. Now, they came out with a new style of pump. Same, they're supposed to be the same one as the old ones, but they're just not the same. I think the quality is not as good as they were before. So I'm hoping that they kind of go back to the old style, because um, those were pretty, pretty decent. And then, what else? 
I have I have quite a bit of shoes in there, but those are the brands that I strictly, strictly go for. Stowed has has nice shoes, good quality. They go up to a size 12, I believe. Um, and Berman goes up to a size 12 as well. So if you have narrow feet, you'll be fine with Berman. If your feet are like super wide, you may have a problem. But if you have like an average wide foot, like well, my feet are wide, um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with getting into them. Uh, so I wear a 10 and a half, but I always get like an 11, 11 and a half all the time. Um, so those are the shoes that I like to buy. Um, and if you do have a size bigger, like bigger than a 12, I think there's a brand, there's a young lady on Instagram. She's always um, promoting the lady's shoes. Mm, I'm going to get it. Something with an L. Lania, Lonaya, L-O-A-N, something like that. I'm going to find it. Um, but I think she goes up to like a 14 maybe. Um, but you guys, listen, being tall is not like the worst thing in the, it's not the end of the world, right? It's not the end of the world. We can definitely find things that are stylish. We can still be stylish. We may not be able to jump on every trend, which is fine, but it doesn't mean that we can't look nice, right? So that's why I'm here, guys. I just want women to know, like, you can be confident and be tall. We're not average height. We're always going to stand out. Um, people tell us not to wear heels, but screw them, okay? Wear your heels, ladies. Embrace it. Um, and that's it, right? Just always look nice. You know, if you can't figure out how to style yourself, if you are tall, you guys know I do personal style. <laughs> and I teach women how to actually do this. Um, it's fun. Because I think women get kind of caught up in what they see online and feel like they have to dress like everybody else. And you actually really don't. Because if you really think about it, if you look at Instagram, there's like, this is going to sound so bad, but it's like sets of girls I see. You have the girls who are like basic neutral colors all the time. Then you have the real colorful girls. Then you have the girls who are always wearing bodycon dresses no matter what. The girls who are always wearing sports bra tops with like biking shorts with heels like you have those girls um so don't think that you have to do what everybody else is doing to be stylish you really don't like style is like i said before is unique to the individual and fashion is more of a collective so everybody's doing it so you can mix a little bit of fashion with your style but you definitely don't have to always be fashionable like on every trend it's just you don't have to do that but i just wanted to come on here and give you guys some of the brands that i really like to shop at and just get creative. And you know what? Think about it. When you buy shirts and stuff that are... Uh, well, hey, okay, I'll say this. I feel like now a lot of shirts are crop tops. Like, I well, like I didn't get that memo. Like, everybody got like a six pack or something. But all the shirts are crop. Now, that's not really my thing. However, you can get creative with it. Like, you can get creative if you really want to wear it. If you don't want to show too much of your body... Definitely wear a shirt over it. Make it more of a sporty look opposed to wearing a sports bra top and like leggings and heels. Like, you know, if that's not your thing, don't do that. Try something different. Throw a white shirt over it. Um, if you still want to wear shoes with it, that's that, that's fine. But if you want to like dress it down because you don't really want to bring too much attention to yourself, wear sneakers. Wear some cute classic sneakers. You guys know I love me the Koyos. Okay, I love Koyos. Um, they're classic. They're all white and they're sleek. And they're affordable and they just had a sale, guys. So that's it. Like, just make sure you are, like, really diving into your own personal style. If you have any questions for me, guys, put them in the comment box for me. Um, let me know what you would like to see as far as tall girl stuff. You guys know I'm still trying to really get the hang of this thing. Like, I'm so serious because YouTube is, it's different from Instagram. But, you know, it's still a place for me to express how I am as far as being a tall woman. Some of the struggles that I deal with in places that I shop at. So comment below. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco. We see you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY. That is my business page. And Coco Styles NYC is my personal page. And my blog, CocoStylesNYC.com. And my personal styling website, CocoStylesNY.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.